Hey there guys and gals, and welcome back to Let's Play Silent Hill 3! This is part 3, and we are about to go and take on the first boss of the game, the Split Worm. Or as I like to call it, the Penis Worm. Even though it's not, not, even though it's not supposed to symbolize penis, I think it's supposed to symbolize... I think it's actually supposed to symbolize, symbolize both of penis and vagina. Listen to me talking about dirty shit. <laughs> oh lord. Enter the minstone into the door. Brilliant! Loading. <laughs> Hooray! Gotta walk around. None of these doors open, so don't care about them. We care about going over here. Um. Yeah, you wanna walk in case you fall accidentally. Oh look, there's a numbody! Hello! Anyway, let's go down. Down into the abyss, and also, where the fuck did all the pendulums go? I don't even wanna know. Anyway, we're going all the way down. I actually think I should bitch about the uh, fucking movie rendition of this game because it was a lot of bullshit fucking 3d piece of jump scare shit jump scares weren't even that scary the scariest thing was Kit Harrington trying to put on a fucking American accent and failing He knows nothing of Jon Snow. <laughs> I know nothing of Jon Snow. The amazing self-destructing ladders. Buy it now for nineteen ninety-nine. I want to test the fury while I'm down here. And here it comes. Beware the 20 inch penis! Mmm, it's got teeth. This is also supposed to symbolize the pain of childbirth. The teeth are supposed to symbolize how painful it is to birth a child. Okay, I believe that. Oh lord. Okay. Get up, 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 get up! Get up, you lazy bitch! Get up! There we go. Christ. Okay, well, my plan failed. Um, I thought that if you switched off the flashlight, it wouldn't be able to see you. Um, obviously, that did not work out. Uh, the best thing that you can do is use your gun for this monster. Um, that's the only thing I would suggest actually works. I'd also suggest moving out of its way. <laughs> Come on, get up, woman. Also, where the fuck is that thing coming from? You go away. Yeah, you that's that bitch. I don't know how the hell I Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Oh, there it is. I could have sworn I was able to fucking melee this thing. There we go, he's dead. Boss 1, complete. Fatality. And we transition back to normal world. Eventually, if it loads. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. What? It's been so abnormally warm in the UK recently. Shopping mall just like before. And by recently, I mean fucking 25th of July. My back? Which is when I'm recording this. Um, I want to see if I remember. Equip that. Is 
What button is it? What button is it? What button is it? Oh, well, that's blog. Okay, that's nice to know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to reload. Oh, okay. Um. Oh. Okay. It's uh, R3. That's interesting to know. Okay, so here we are. Normal world again. Gatekeeper. Newsboy. Ruby Coffee Company. Orange Field. <laughs> Makes me think of Red Field. Ali's Ice Cream. <laughs> Don't know what the fuck that says. All I know is it says accessories. Um, that just says Chinese restaurant, so that's boring. Happy Burger. Let's go into the Happy Burger. Okay, there should be some supplies lying around. Yep, there we go. Happy Burger is a good burger. Um, I'm also pretty sure there's a save point in here somewhere. Um, this is where I was sleeping earlier. <clears throat> Hell, I might still be sleeping here for all I know. I wish I were. Uh, oh yeah, there's the save. Okay. <clears throat> so now we're going to the next area of the game, which is the subway station. That is fun. It's real fun. Sarcasm! Buntalantalanta! Pervert. What just happened? You must be one of them. What did I do? And what do you mean by one of them? You're in on this with that Claudia, aren't you? Claudia? What about her? She asked me to find you, and that's all. So you are one of them. Claudia did all that? Look, I was just hired to find you. I'm not on anybody's side. I don't know anything about this. Why don't you start by telling me what happened here? And that monster. What the hell was that? Which one? I saw like four different ones. All I know is that things are getting really screwy around here and... I got a weird feeling it's got something to do with me. Maybe I'm just an innocent bystander, but I, I can't feel sorry for you because you dragged me into this. You know, if you hadn't found me... What are you talking about? What's so special about you anyway? If I knew that, I wouldn't be so confused, would I? But I know there's something. I've been running from and forgot for a long time. How did I remember that? What's wrong? Nothing. Where are you going? I'm taking the subway home. What should I do? Hell if I know. Woohoo, hell! Anyway, to the subway! Don't ask. I'm weird. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Oh my god, the subway is actually so easy to get lost in. Uh, okay, let's go. I like to stare at these things, I don't know why. Fruity Rogue! Giggity. Eco action. Hooray, the environment. <laughs> Is it really subways under fucking malls? Because that sounds kind of. I don't know. 
Okay, we need to try and find the map. Um, wow, it's distinctly dark. Uh, map, please. Map somewhere, please. Uh, just looking around. Ooh, a newspaper article. Take a... There's newspaper left on top of the ticket magazine. Fatal accident at Hazel Street. At about 11 p.m. on the 4th, a man waiting on the platform at, Haz at the Hazel Street station fell onto the tracks and was decapitated by the arriving St. Renata College-bound train. The victim died instantly. While police have not yet determined whether the death was by was an accident or suicide, witnesses reports witnesses report that the victim did not look inebriated and seemed to jump off the platform deliberately. The victim's identity is still unknown. He was approximately forty years old, five feet ten inches tall, and wearing a black jacket. Newspaper is four months old. What's it doing here now? Because shit's gonna go down. I don't know where the fuck I'm going. I need a map. That's all I know. I also know that you got a shotgun in here somewhere. Uh, map. There it is. Thank you, fixed camera angles. Okay. It doesn't look complex, but it is. Kinda. Um... Trying to think, trying to think, trying to think. Hazel Street st Station Yard map. Awesome. Uh, wait. Bergen Street. Bergen Street. Uh, North End. Powell Garden. Uh, let's go on North End. Powell Garden's platforms first. I get the feeling that I'm supposed to be down here first before anything else, or at least investigate this place. Okay. So. Chains holding the door together are secured with a bolt and knot. The knot is screwed on tightly. I can't turn in my hands. Brilliant. And this way? North End is open. Bergen Street ends. Okay, I need to look at the map for a second. Uh, platform 1, Platform 2... Let's go to Platform 1 first. That's how I'll work it. Go platform by platform. Oh lord, I hear stuff. Oh, brilliant! I go the worst way possible. Um, fuck, 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 they fuck, fuck, fuck. Um, hopefully doggies will just leave me alone. Hopefully doggies will just oh sure. no they won't, no they won't, no they won't. Um, can I? Oh, this goes down. Okay. Um. Trying to think, trying to think, trying to think. Nope, it's supposed to be on the other end. Oh, no, no, I'm supposed to be on this end. Uh, go the other end anyway, uh, check on something. Okay, we got the nutcracker, so we can break open the gate. Because that's how it works in real life. Oh. Um, health drink, health drink. The path is blocked with trash. I can't get through here. And there's a dead body there. Don't fucking pay attention to the dead body, okay, man? I won't pay attention to the dead old ball. Oh, fuck doggies. I believe this is also where you meet the first insane cancer. Oh, hello, doggy. So, yeah. Um... The closers appear here, I'm pretty sure the closers appear somewhere. Don't know where though. Um, seconds. I should probably heal. There we go, that'll be enough. Um, 
I'm getting the canonical ending, which is the normal ending for this game. Um, I have no idea how you actually get the possessed ending, which is the bad ending. Um, I've never been able to successfully get it. Oh, hello. Yay, shotgun. 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 Gift wrap box. Could it be a birthday present? No. I guess not. Nobody I know would give me something this gross. But I'll take it anyway. It should be able to come in handy against monsters. That's not gross. That's fucking excellent. Is there any shotgun shells? Like, what's the point of giving me a shotgun if there's no shotgun shells? There they are. Thank you. And Tubby Morda is blocking my exit. That is called an insane cancer, folks. Don't want to belly flop. Don't want to be belly flopped bad. 16 minutes in and I still don't know where the fuck I'm going. All I know is that I'm doing progress. Progress is a good thing. Um, Where am I? I think I'm actually supposed to be going this way. Uh, that's St. Saint Saint Renata College. This is Bergen Street. Bergen Street is where Heather lives, I believe. Um, is this where I'm thinking I'm supposed to be going? Yes, it is. Good. Jump on the train tracks, it's okay. Oh my lord! Get up! Quickly before the train comes! Phew! Well, that was easy. That wasn't actually as long as I thought it would have taken. I guess I remember more about this game than I thought I did. Anyway, the doggies are dead. <laughs> Fucking little shits. You do have to investigate that door. It's unlocked. You do have to investigate that door for the train to come. I didn't know that much. Um, there was something special about that newspaper article. I'm going to see if I can try and still do it. Um... Hopefully I can. Hopefully this is where it's supposed to be. I don't know. Don't really believe so. This is the St. Renata line. Um. Oh no it's not. This isn't the St. Renata line. It's still the Bergen Street line. Uh, go on to the St. Renata line. Which should be straight across from it, I think, or somewhere. Ugh, directly across. Which means go over here. I know, I know, I'm doing, I'm doing stupid stuff. I know. Okay, and uh, there should be an occultist magazine down here. Yep, there is. I read this a long time ago. It's a nothing lit it's a nothing little occult magazine. Seemed like a bunch of crap to me. It's not so bad if you just read it for fun though. The souls of those who died suddenly by suicide or accident don't realize they're dead. Sometimes they stay put and haunt that particular place. These spirits have lost their human senses and memories and can only keep replaying the pain and sadness of the moment they died. The pain can get so bad that they turn on turn to humans for salvation, or they begrudge humans their lives. At some at such times they can possess humans. Places known as famous suicide spots or high accident areas are often to blame. You should be careful when approaching such locations, easily, especially on the day or at the time of death occurred. At the time the death occurred, 
That is, if you don't want it to happen to you too. Excellent. Okay, let's go. That implies that this either happens on the 4th of whatever month it happened on, which is kind of a load of bullshit, because it was from months ago, that newspaper article. So it would be more believable that it was, um, that this is the time that he died. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me? I guess it doesn't happen once you get your train. Um, okay. Anyway, the ghost of the man who killed himself on that station's line, um, is supposed to push you onto the tracks, but I, I, I guess once you, uh, spawn the Bergen Street station, uh, train, it doesn't work. So, yeah. It's better to do that before you do anything else, if you want a cool little easter egg. Um, obviously I didn't do it, so, you know, I didn't get to watch it. All that happens is that he pushes you onto the train tracks, and you need to get back up before you're squished. So, you know, just kind of like what happened with uh, the Bergen Street uh, train, only with less double heads. Uh, is there anything lying around? Nope. Okay then, let's just go in. Might call this apart soon. Help me! Help me! Help me! Bye bye! <laughs> Woo! Choo choo! Hell, don't fucking complain, you're going home. <laughs> I wouldn't fucking complain if it was the right train. Um, trying to think. Oh, hello. Uh, anything good to read? Newspaper? Old boring stuff? Um, this is quite interesting. Yeah, don't fall off. You'll die. Actually, let's do that. Let's have some fun. This again. Looking at it makes my head hurt. But at the same time, it's, like, so familiar. I know I've forgotten something really important. But I also have the feeling that I'd be better off not remembering it. Okay, so I'm gonna save this first of all. Then I'm going to show you the death scene that would occur if... You fall off. Um... By the way, this happens... If you try to go back, that you'll see this, and basically you'll just have to keep on pressing forward. And, but I'm gonna jump off. And this is a game over death scene. You just die on the tracks. So yeah. Let's just call this a part. Thanks for watching part 3 of Let's Play Silent Hill 3! Stay tuned for part 4, where we're going to um, go through the train and see where it finishes. So yeah, peace out. Bye! What? Those men? No idea. Anyway, just run around in here for a while. Whee! Look at her legs! Oh my god! I wish I could do that! <laughs> uh, <laughs>